Sure. <laughs> I talk a lot. Um, we're working with Fred now. Fred's our new man in charge. In his 50 years. Um, what do you think some feels? We think in, in the role as kind of manager of a newspaper, his focus is always going to be on more for less, getting his journalists to actually perform more, but spend less money on being able to do so. And we think he probably feels that while on the outside, and when we get to the same do, we'll talk about the kind of positive me messages putting across, that actually traditional news is suffering and dying a little bit, unless they do kind of change, and as you say, go with this new model, then it's not, it's not going to work for them. Um, in terms of what he's seeing, he's seeing that there's new competitors that are launching all the time, new apps, new models, new platforms, and they're not necessarily keeping up with that. He is undoubtedly part of larger networks, communication networks and support networks, where he's hearing similar messages. And I'm not quite sure what I meant with this, but he, he's going to be seeing that there are more and more hyper-local journalists that are starting to pop up, people that while he might not have the resource to be able to put a journalist onto a patch, if you like, like he used to, having somebody that covers a, a category, there are more and more journalists popping up that will cover very local areas, estates, um, communities, communities of interest. He might be hearing complaints. Imagine, as in his role as the manager, he's not necessarily focused on journalism, he's more focused on human resources and managing of other journalists, so he's hearing everything that Mike was moaning about earlier, he's kind of the butt of all that, so why aren't these journalists allowed to be proper journalists, why can't they go out there? He's still hearing, and we, we think, we certainly agree, that newspapers are still the kind of trusted source for news. Social media is fantastic and it's quick and it's informative, but um, there's lots of cases where you'll hear stuff start to be talked about on Twitter, but until a newspaper releases a story, it's not real news until that stage. He'll be under pressure from shareholders to be more effective in what they're doing and we'll be constantly hearing the messages that if sales are going down, if newspaper circulation is reducing, then advertising is going to go down alongside it. In terms of what you're saying does, they will, you'll be complaining to people about sharing and aggregating of news, why should he and his journalists be making content if people on social media and the internet can just steal and share it and do what they want to do with it. Um, he will continue to say newspapers are this place of authority and trust. Newspapers will claim to be the voice of the people. Actually, they'll say what you're thinking, whereas social media can probably do that a lot better. But the overarching message from journalism and newspapers is that we know best. We know what people want. They don't know what they want. So in terms of pain, there's the opportunity that social media is diluting the audience for newspapers. And there's a the problem that news in its traditional form can be hugely ephemeral. It can exist for a short amount of time, but once someone turned the page in a newspaper, that's gone and they've moved on to the next article. Um, the gains from this is that there are lots of potential for cutting costs using on online platforms. There can be a quantity approach to newspapers, actually using news which other people are sourcing, finding photos, materials, they can increase the quantity of what they produce. And actually, completely agree with what you said, I think there's an opportunity to bring traditional journalists and hyper-local journalists and citizen journalists all into one pool and potentially have some kind of commissioning model in place. <coughs> if the newspaper hasn't got the, the resources to send their journalists out to cover a story, actually value what real people are collecting and pay for that. So well, if someone comes up with an amazing photo, they should be reimbursed for that photo. So the main problem of this person is to find the value of the social media? More content community. with less resources. Yeah. Okay. So maybe if you would like to launch a startup, it could be to show that you you could bring value on social media. I think where we got the end in terms of what a startup could be would be that um, brokerage tool. So what what is the platform that brings together the journalist who needs information for a story and the people who've got it on their mobile phones yeah. and how that transaction takes place? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yeah.